Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to cherry push your Channel Online up to Legend League. Throughout this video, I'll be showing the best attack strategy to use for Master League, Champion League, and Titan League, so you can push your way all the way up to Legend League, and also be going over best ways to use shields while cherry pushing. Starting off with the first attack strategy of the day, it is a very popular one. It is the Mass Dragon Zap attack strategy. This one is very good for Master League, pushing your way up through that league and attacking Town nines and tens this one here we are going to be attacking this tunnel 10 and trying to go for the town hall directly towards the very bottom starting off by dropping the lightning spells towards the left air defense so we can take that one down and use the king and queen to try to work towards the one on the right side so we can have a direct straight line towards that town hall for that extra star for the second star and we'll drop the baby dragon with the king towards the top right and I am placing him towards the uh, bottom portion of that spell factory so he does directly uh, go down towards the bottom left of the base to make his way over towards the uh, air defense as he is getting targeted by the single target in front of tower and he will go down to that there so hopefully the queen can take down that second air defense as we work our way towards the bottom by dropping the rest of the dragons and the balloons with our clan castle balloons towards the right side as we will probably have to take down the air defense with those balloons going to rage up the uh, troops in the core as they make their way over towards the town hall clan castle electric like dragon comes out so we'll poison and freeze that there to help the dragons and stuff work over there the enemy queen is also alongside the enemy clan castle so we'll take down both of those at the exact same time as we take down the town hall alongside those guys as well and using the last free spell on that air sweeper with the single target in front of tower as a bear away and get the first and the second star against this town hall 10 for an easy 31 trophies against this whale of 47 trophies heading on to the second attack of the day it is one of my favorite attacks in the entire game it is the go wave attack strategy this one is very good for champion league to go through the town hall 10s and maybe even the town hall 11s if you get lucky with the base design but mostly you'll be attacking town hall 9s and 10s once again attacking towards the top left as the tunnel is closer towards the top dropping the earthquake spells on the two wall compartments there and we'll wall break in towards the outer one there as you see there dropping the golem to start with the king and pekka on both sides for this one here to drop the king beside the queen and that golem and a widespread of the wizards to take down the outside buildings dropping the clan castle pekka and the Valkyries as we take down a couple of the outside buildings towards the bottom left there dropping a couple of Valkyries and making a good pathing towards that town hall so we'll drop the rest of the Valkyries to head in towards the base dropping our first heal through here and a race ball take down the town hall and all of those Teslas in that Tesla farm and we're already up to 40% just under a minute in the raid dropping that heals ball over on the left side by accident I would have used it on the Valkyries and stuff on the right side as they take down the enemy queen we're getting up to the 50% pretty quickly here once again and getting that second star there so another quick attack to use on this town hall 10 for another decent attack or decent offer in trophy at 28 there so getting that two star and getting a very high percentage on this town hall 10 as well ending off here with a very high percentage two star on this town hall 10. heading on to the final attack of the day this one is very good against the town hall 11s as you see here we are going to be attacking this town hall 11 using the queen charge master dragon attack strategy this one is very good against the tunnel 10s and 11s that you're going to see inside of titan league this one is for titan league if you start off at the very bottom of the base with the queen charge the balloon is for any seeking air mines close to the outside and we wall break in immediately into the base to allow for the queen to path up towards the enemy queen and eventually the town hall which you can kind of see towards the very top of the screen there to put some baby dragons all on the outside of the queen on both sides to allow for the queen to path directly towards the way you want her to but i think i do drop the king on the left side there to take down these outside buildings towards the left to the queen allow for her to attack the enemy queen as you see here and drop another raid spell as the first one is about to fade off and she uses her ability because she went a little bit too low in health 
but that is fine. We still have two more rages and a free spell still left to use for her here. She is going towards the right a little bit here, so we're gonna have to drop some big, uh, balloons over on that archer tower as you see there to allow for the queen to pass towards the left side instead of the right because she would have attacked the wall after taking down that gold mine there. But she decides to turn around and attack that wall to head over towards that expo and eventually town hall. She'll attack those skeletons, but as we do that, we're gonna head around the outside of the base and spread out the baby dragons to take down the outside buildings for the extra percentage and getting that 50%. Gonna use the uh, free spell on the eagle to allow for the queen to stay up a little bit longer as she takes down the town hall for that first star. And we're about to get the second star from the baby dragons taking down the outside buildings. And there we go, we still saved a ton of troops as you see there. This one is very overpowered against the Town Hall 11s. If you have the Town Hall close to the outside, getting that two star on the Town Hall 11 for 32 trophies. Coming back to the base, I'll now tell you when to buy your different shields while pushing. At the moment, I have an eight hour shield, which means I shouldn't really attack right now because if I head out and finish an attack, it will take some time off the remaining shield, meaning keeping the shield up for as long as possible is better for you so you don't lose as many trophies per day. If you plan on buying anything from the shield shop, make sure it is at least the two hour guard. You're able to purchase this once every day for 10 gems, allowing for an extra two hours of attacking time along with the free guard that you'll get once your shield runs out. I also recommend buying the guard once your shield has run out since the shield allows you to attack for even longer without having to take a defense. Heading on to the next things to buy in the shield shop, which is the one and two day shields. Their cooldowns take even longer than the two hour guard at four days for the one day shield and a week for the two day shield. I usually buy these whenever they're available since it allows me to take a small break from attacking without having to worry about losing trophies. And yes, you can attack while having these shields active, but the more you attack, the more hours will be taken from those shields. So keeping them up as long as possible will help you in the long run. The final thing you can buy from the shield shop is the one week shield. This is only available for 35 days, so make sure to use it at the right time. I personally use this shield during clan games since good trophy offers are hard to find during those six days. I also use it once I make it up to Legend League so I can get some Legend League trophies once the season ends. And if you wanna know how to get Legend League trophies, make sure to check out this video where I go over how to get the Legend League tournament badge inside of your profile. If you plan on trophy pushing, I recommend recommend starting as clan games are finishing since bases will become a lot easier to find and you'll be able to save that one week shield until the next clan games if you are still pushing. And that should be it for the guide on how to draw your push to Legend League as a Town Hall 9. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did want to see some more Town Hall 9 pushing content like this, I have an entire draw your pushing series on the channel for you to enjoy that I'll have a link to in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.